Hello gamers, Loros here with a step-by-step -step guide on getting the Metamorphosis rune for Warlocks in Season of Discovery. So to start off, there will be two items you need. One will be the Orb of Dez, and the second one will be the Bow of Altec. Um, starting off with the Bow of Altec, you'll be looking to go to Darkshore. Um, specifically, you'll want to go to North Dark Darkshore, the tippy top, into the Tower of Athalax. In the tower, um, near the top is where the bow will be. So uh, go ahead and head there. Once you get there, you'll see that it's littered with warlocks uh, ranging between 27 and 30. Um, they will be looking to stop you from getting your item. Uh, I definitely don't suggest going by yourself. You could do some death runs. Maybe you'll get it, but it will be a pain. Definitely suggest bringing a group of friends. Uh, when, you can use your friends and y'all can like try to do like strategically grabbing one at a time. Uh, but I suggest just using, utilizing your friends to go ahead, aggro everything and you run behind and grab the item. Just utilize them as meat shields, easiest and fastest way. When you're at the top, you'll see it's just like a little staff that sits on the corner of the table. Um, it's glowing, real hard to miss. You go ahead and grab that and you go ahead and run out. Um, not playing in hardcore anymore, so not a big deal for you to die so you can go ahead and take that uh, res sickness and get away um, after that you'll want to head over to red ridge uh, you'll be looking for the tile tower of ilgalar i think i'm pronouncing that correctly not 100 percent sure um, if you're playing on horde both of these are going to be a little annoying one in dark shore one's in uh, red ridge um, dark shore is not too bad you go through the barrens you go through um Ash and Vale, and then you go to the top of Dark Shore. Uh, but then the one in Red Ridge will be a little annoying. What you'll need to do is take a Zeppelin, go into Stranglethorn Vale, then swim to the north into Westfall. You'll need to run all the way through, like, well, not all the way through Westfall, but kind of run to the south path of Westfall into Duskwood, kind of swim through the river, or like stay close to the river in between Duskwood and Elwyn, and then get into Red Ridge. If you're playing a PvP server, try to avoid as many people as possible. Stormwind is right there. It could get real annoying for you and your friends that you're hopefully taking with you. Um, the tower over there is very similar, but not as strong. Um, there'll just be some gnolls there. That'll be... Um, uh, they weren't too high level. Uh, you might it might be easier for you to do it by yourself, but I would still recommend bringing friends. It'll be a small little black box right at the top of the tower again. Uh, again, not hard to find, really easy to see. Uh, it'll be all glowy and whatnot. After that, you'll need to head to the Barrens. Um, in the Barrens, there will be uh, a guy uh, directly east of Camp Tajaro. I again, think I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, his name will be Don Karhan or something like that. Uh, he will want you to go to Black Fathom Depths and Shadowfane Keep. Um, in Black Fathom Depths, you'll pretty much need to be like level 25 to go here because this is the, now a raid. Uh, right after after the fifth boss leading to the sixth boss, there would be the Twilight Alkalites. They will drop this on a rock fragments. So you will need three of those. Um, they seem to be 100% drop chance, and if you have more than one Warlock in your group, you will all be able to get, get the same fragment. So that one's pretty easy. After that, you will head to Shadowfane Keep. Um, from in Shadowfane Keep, you will be looking for a large Sonorak fragment. Uh, this one drops specifically from the Shadowfane Dark Souls. Those have a pretty low drop chance, but uh, not too bad. I ran it twice and I got it, so I, I don't think that's too bad, especially since there's quite a few Shadowfang Dark Souls to fight. They are kind of annoying to fight. I mean, we're Warlocks and they're resistant to shadow damage, so kind of lame, but uh, just go ahead with a couple friends. You should be able to knock it out easy. You really only have to kill the first boss, and then you can get to them uh, by just going around the Butcher instead of like going through there. Um, after that, once you have that, you'll need to go back to the Barrens, go back to, to Darn. Uh, turn in the quest, and then he will give you another quest called The Conjuring. He will need you to co collect uh, 10 Bloods of the Legions. Um, this will be in Ashenvale. This will be to the southeast of Ashenvale, um, uh, pretty much where all those demons are. You'll be able to kill Fel, Lord, Fel Lords, um, Dread Guards, uh, I think I'm saying those, Infernals, sorry. Infernals, um, Fel guards and uh, succubuses to to get 
the Bloods of the Legion. Uh, you will need 10 of them. Uh, drop rate seems to be pretty good on them as well. I don't know the exact percentages for these drop rates, uh, but I killed like 16 or 17 and I got all 10 that I needed. Uh, so not too bad. Uh, but yeah, bring a group of friends, kill those. You'll definitely need help. Um, they range like 27, level 28 to 30. Um, non elite, so still not too bad. However, um, you're level 25 as a warlock, they were resisting like a lot of my spells. Um, again, really annoying to fight, but uh, with a group of friends, shouldn't be too much of a problem. Um, you don't need a full raid group. I did it with five, and one of our five is only level 22. So after that, you'll need to head deeper into uh, that area, which will be uh, Demon Ridge or something like that. <laughs> uh, yeah, Demon Fell Ridge. And then what you'll need to do is you'll need to go all the way inside. Whenever you're walking through, you'll see that there's a ramp off to the right that you need to go into. Um, might be kind of easy to miss. Uh, I admit we missed it, walked all, ar all around the whole area um, in Demon Fall Ridge. It was pretty annoying, um, but eventually we found the ramp. Um, so you go ahead, you walk up there, and then from there, you will find the portal that you're looking for. Uh, you walk up to the portal. Um, hopefully, there's not too many other warlocks there. Uh, but if so, just you guys can take turns helping each other, especially if like you're solo and you don't have a group, so not too bad. Um, uh, there'll be a little pedestal that you'll go ahead and turn in the quest to. Um, once you start the quest, there will be a 10-minute counter. Uh, it will tell you that you need to last 10 minutes for uh, the entire ritual. Uh, it definitely does not take the entire 10 minutes. Uh, you will have some demons that come out. Uh, there's been talks that you need to drain the soul of everyone inside of the circle that spawns right there. I did not. I, there was one that I did not drain the soul of by accident. I was trying to, but I did miss one. But since I didn't, I confirmed that you don't need to drain the soul of every single one. Uh, I did drain the soul of the last Infernal that comes out. He is a level 25 um, Infernal uh, Elite. All the rest were like 24, 25 non-Elite, so it really wasn't difficult. Um, once you finish and drain the soul of that last guy, uh, that will complete the quest and you'll get a new quest to return to Darn in the Barrens. Once you return to him, you will then, of course, get the rune. Um, it, pretty much that that's all there is to it. Um, I would definitely recommend bringing a group of friend, uh, five friends for everything. It makes it really easy. Um, but yeah, uh, the demon form is really great. If you don't know much about it yet, it allows you to tank, turn, changes a lot of your abilities. It's really awesome. The aesthetics are really cool. Um, yeah, I uh, hope this video has been helpful for you. Uh, if you have any questions, just go ahead and drop some comments. Um, if something I said didn't resonate, didn't make sense to you, yeah, just go ahead and ask questions. And thanks for watching. Have a great day.